lot of amazing records today, just some really good ones. But first, also a book uh, from one of our clients, Chris Cook, local DJ, with a topic near and dear to our hearts. It's all about um, educating uh, children, youth, kids about music. Um, and it's got a whole bunch of playlists and uh, interesting directions. And when you're kind of new to music, uh, this can really help because music can put you in a lot of directions, including uh, negative stuff or stuff to keep you stupid or dumb. And this definitely uh, fights all that and keeps you in a good direction and gets you going in like basically the right way. So this is uh, pretty good. And there's a lot of stuff here that I think even adults who have been into music for a while would will learn from. So we got a signed copy and it's worthwhile. Kate Bush, Cloud Busting, all of uh, Kate's stuff that's in print now is like unobtainium, but we did get this. This is beautiful. It's a picture disc and it comes from her label, uh, Fish People, which uh, you can see on her website. But, you know, of course, she went through a Wilhelm Reich uh, period, didn't we all? This is pretty interesting. And there's a beautiful uh, picture of Kate on the other side. This uh, very limited, and it's good. Got a lot of other restocks, including this William on Yeber uh, 3 LP from the World Psychedelic Classics series, and we just can't sing the praises of this enough. It's disco funk, but then it's Nigerian space psychedelia, lo-fi African boogie lounge, and it's a terrific, terrific uh, masterwork. And just play it over and over. We got some kraut rock, some Nirvana, um, mint copy of that Simple Minds, uh, fair copy of Sano and Johnny, but the cover is great. Got some U2, got some folk music uh, from France, recorded in Bulgaria from the 80s. And I love this music uh, from Star Wars, the Electric Moog Orchestra, a.k.a. Nelson Ned. He did a couple of these uh, for Battlestar Galactica, and I think one more, but I love it. It's not the original soundtrack, but it's excellent. It's the Moog, so it's it's definitely recommended. Uh, Mint copy this Howard Jones with all the stuff is seen on MTV. And Luchas, this just came out, I think, a couple weeks ago. It's some indie pop from New York City. Uh, they're an interesting duo. I would call it disco pop, and it comes with... Not only the inner, but the big, huge poster, so we want to check them out. Uh, Gene loves Jezebel, and this is great from 83. It's got the original Quonset Hut sticker, and uh, look up on our walls in the main showroom for some Quonset Hut memorabilia and other stuff. And Miriam McCabe, I can't believe she's passed away for so many years now. This is from 1960, great African music. A uh, decent copy of this Boston, and a uh, beautiful, beautiful copy of this Bauhaus from 83, UK Press. Um, I know Jimmy Buffett's on here a couple times. Uh, got some Lou Rawls and Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry. They call themselves, I know, the Lorries at one point. It's new wave stuff from the UK, mid 80s. And um, it's original press. Um, I know, it, I think it was like number three on NME when it first came out. Nice copy of that. Herb Alpert, this is one of his best records, actually. Uh, There's total back rack sophistication on here. And the Wham UK from 83. Beautiful copy. And Dorothy Donegan, I love this record. It's good old boogie piano blues. The swing and sounds of the 50s hipster. It reminds me of McDougal Street blues and some of that Kerouac stuff. And, oh, yeah, this track list is all messed up. I mean, Lullaby of Birdland, that's great. It's on here on Green Dolphin Street. But some of these tracks on, aren't on here at all. Other ones are, but it's totally shuffled in the actual record. Um, that's a pretty mint there. That's pretty good. Uh, this is a player copy, but decent. Um, got some interesting jazz there. And Shadow of Fear, uh, Cleveland Goths from the 80s. This came out in 85, I believe. Um, Death Rock, really. And it's a pretty hard to come by record itself. It came out on St. Valentine Records. They did everyone like Death Samantha, My Dad is Dead, etc., etc. Um, the Diffie Cult, I think, were even on that label. But um, this record, it's hard enough to come by, but this record is mint. Literally, totally, supremely mint. So that's pretty cool. So check all this stuff out. We're open Friday, Saturday, 11 to 6.